to add yourself it's very easy and you may have already done this um, like my username is Cindy and my user PC or machine name is Cindy dash PC and in this instance we don't need the PC name but we might need it later uh, but that wouldn't be part of our login so we wouldn't have to know it to enter it because the program would just put it in for us so go ahead and open up studio um, I'm gonna close it and open it back up fresh so that you guys can see what's going on is it coming up? there it is so we found out our name so and I would already added mine in before in lessons before so I'm going to show you if you want if you have got some junk in there and you just think I want a fresh you know table um, you can delete it and re uh, enter it but the only thing is you got to be very careful with that because if not to delete a bad table I mean by bad table I mean one that people are using because you could really get yourself in big trouble doing stuff like that so you have to be super careful when you delete a table so uh, let's view this one select it it's probably got myself and the reason that you wouldn't want to just okay I'm gonna delete this record and start over is because the next ID it's not going to start back over at one it's going to start back over at the one you haven't deleted and and that might or might not make any difference but I kind of would like it to start at one and this is my username on my PC but it very well could not have been so I'm going to delete this table and redo it so to do that we're going to right click and um, script table as create to new query window Okay, so I, I've got that. Now I'm uh, free. Let's see the app settings. Does that have anything there? Select. No, so we don't have to worry about that one. Just the app user. So we've got our create, so we can create it again. And so I'm going to right click and delete. Uh, so it gives me the name and you say are you sure And you better make sure you're really sure because you know like if you do this at work and mess up guess what you might lose your job okay so we've got that dude out now let's just recreate him click execute okay and then we can refresh and he's back so let's add our user from what we data we gathered so we're going to say edit 200 rows that's just the default and if let's say that for whatever reason you ever need to see the code that was used uh, maybe there's just too much data you don't want to see it maybe you want to change it you know with a selection or something so you would just say up here there'll be something that says SQL let's see view I don't want that. I don't think I have enough. Um, what's this say? Database. There is a. Um, I'm going to find that. There it is. View SQL. We need to move that over. That's not in a good spot. We need to see if we can move that over. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. It. You don't have as much space, but like. I had to hunt and hunt and hunt to find that, so I would prefer it to be there. Let's see if we can move it down this way. Because those are the main ones I use. Okay, so let's go ahead and add ourselves. I'm going to say Cindy, and remember, that is my name is Cindy, but yours is going to be whatever yours is. I'm going to say Cindy. And oh. Uh oh, Cindy is my first name. Last name is Oaks. And my email is pgmr underscore 6484. Don't add me to any spam list. Create user. I'm going to say Cindy because, and then the create date time, I'm going to say today. I'm going to put um, 3 30 19. 
and I'm just gonna like default to midnight. Uh, if you had was doing the create date time through a program, it would give you the exact time, but it doesn't have to be. It's deleted. I'm gonna say no, and that's gonna be um, false. In edit mode, you can do true and false. I believe that is, and in view mode, it's zeros and ones. Let's see if that works. Yes, F A L S E. So if we go to view this table, select, uh, you'll see that the delete the, the zero is zero and one, and it's true and false in here. Like so, changes to true. Now let's uh, refresh this. It's cute. You'll see it's changed to one. Okay, but I don't want it deleted. I want it false. So, execute it again. Okay, so we've got ourselves added to the database, and I hope you got it in, and because you're going to need it, because we're going to be checking for users uh, when we start up our Windows UI app. And if you're not in there, we're going to send out an error message. So um, you can go ahead and leave this up, because we're going to be doing some editing and some experimenting, uh, and that way you don't have to pull it back out. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.